So what I want to cover in this video is how you can connect your SharePoint list to Microsoft Access on your desktop. So the very first step in that process is to ensure that you have uh, Microsoft Access installed. So if we go into our machine here and move across to the installed apps, we should see that we do have Microsoft Access 2013 already installed on this machine. So we do need that as a prerequisite. Now, once we've got that installed, we can go to our list in SharePoint. So what I've done here is I've navigated to a contacts list. You'll see that I have first name, last name, email address, and data on the user that is listed. Now, the option here to connect to access is we need to go up to the list tab to display the ribbon menu and what we should see is an option called open with access which is under the connect and export section of the ribbon so if we click on that that should then uh, launch automatically access for us so as you can see here it's now uh, launched that it said okay what do we want to do here do we want to we want to specify the location for a new or an existing database so we're going to create a new uh, copy obviously of our list locally so that we can work with it we can choose two options here we can link to the data on the SharePoint site now what this means is that will give us the ability to synchronize updates so if the SharePoint list changes then the access on the desktop will change if we change the, the entry in um, access on the desktop then SharePoint list will be updated the other option we have is just to export a list of data so that's a one-way push of the data so that will copy effectively the data from our list into access on a local table that we can work with but the more um, the thing that gives you more flexibility will be the option to link to the data so what we're going to do is select that option and we're going to then go OK to uh, allow the wizard then to continue. So what that's going to do basically is um, set up a connection between our access on the desktop and our SharePoint list. So if we go into access which has automatically launched you'll see that I now have a table here which is exactly the same as the table in uh, my uh, SharePoint site here. So again uh, we can double click on this to open it and view the table as you would see any other SharePoint list. So if we have a look here you can see that uh, we have the names. If we go back to our SharePoint list you'll see that those names there um, do match the ones that we have. So now we have a direct uh, copy of our SharePoint contacts list in an access database here on our desktop. Now they are linked as we noted and if we make a change then that will be updated so for example if I go into the email address here for the first user and update that to and maybe update this field as well uh, okay so again that should allow it that will then take a minute to synchronize but what we can do here is we can force this to refresh all so that should then push it back to our SharePoint list now this is the user here now what we need to do obviously to see those changes is to refresh our browser so that will get the latest information from the list here so if I refresh my browser and look at the list you'll see that yes I have entries now in my email address also on my company and in the job title that I changed now if I do the reverse if I go into my SharePoint list here okay so what I'm going to do here is edit um, this item here so I go into select the item and I'm going to edit the item this will bring me up to the single page edit option here uh, in uh, access so what I'm going to do here is put in a fax number I'm also going to put in an address okay and a city and also a state. So we get all those details correct oh, and then what we do is we then save that. So then what we should see in SharePoint Online here is that we now obviously have a, a fax number, we now have an address, a city and a state. Now if I go back to my Access Database and have a look before I do a refresh you'll see here that I have for the first entry I have no fax number city address or state okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and select refresh all this will then take the information from SharePoint 
Okay, so again, you'll see here now I have a fax number, PO box, and city and state matching that on my SharePoint list. So it's really easy to connect um, an access database to a SharePoint list. The benefit it provides is you can have two way updates. So you can update from access on the desktop, you can also update from SharePoint during a web browser, and making sure that you refresh the data in both cases, you'll always see. The latest version in there so that certainly gives you a lot of flexibility to work with um, SharePoint information in a very powerful analytical tool like access so you can pull down multiple SharePoint contact lists or multiple SharePoint lists and data and you can manipulate it in access and produce reports and produce queries and produce output that you couldn't necessarily do easily in something like SharePoint so again that's a quick overview of how you can connect your access database to a SharePoint list. Thank you very much for watching.